Hi travelers, my name's Alex, and as some of you might know, my boyfriend Keith and I are on a road trip that's taking us from New York City all the way down to Costa Rica and back. So if you've been following along, the previous town we were in was San Jose del Pacifico, and in this video I'll be sharing our time with you at the beaches of Oaxaca. So these were days 18 through 22 on the road, and we visited a few beaches. So we stayed in Estacahuite, and we visited Mazunte and Riscalillo, which was really beautiful, and you had to take a bumpy dirt road to get there. We also visited Pochutla, which is a town up in the mountains of Oaxaca where they have an open air market every Monday. So we were able to pick up our own groceries so that we could cook while we were um, staying there. So I hope you enjoy what's up next. The drive from San Jose del Pacifico to Estacahuite takes a little bit over four hours. Once you're about halfway through the drive, you'll also notice that you're getting lower in elevation as you approach the coast, and that the trees start to change, so the foliage gets a little more tropical. After almost three weeks of driving, we finally made it down to the beach. So we found a little town called Estacahuite on the Pacific coast and found an Airbnb there. It was a cute little studio and it cost us about $60 a night and had a kitchen, a safe parking spot, and it was directly on the beach. So we love that you could look out onto the ocean every day. After a good night's rest, we decided to check out the town of Pochutla. It's back up in the mountains and on Mondays they hold a huge open air market where you can get fresh fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, fish, meat, cheese, whatever you could possibly think of. So we picked up some groceries so that we'd be able to cook for ourselves at our Airbnb. The next day, we decided to go on a little adventure and drive over to Riscalillo, which is a beach in Huatulco National Park. So to get here, we had to drive on an unpaved dirt road for about 45 minutes. It was super bumpy, but it was so much fun, and once we got there, it was completely worth it because there was basically no one on this beach, the sand was super fine and soft, the water was crystal clear blue. Visiting beaches like this really makes me appreciate that we're driving because getting there was half the adventure. The only other way to get to this beach is by boat, so driving really makes you appreciate the landscape and what makes up um, the destination.
last day here we decided to explore Mazunte which is just a little bit further north. So Mazunte is kind of like a hippie-ish beach town if that's what you're looking for. They have a lot of vegan, organic restaurants and they have yoga studios there. So it's a really nice little town. watching and if you enjoyed please subscribe and check out my blog at groovinandcruising.com I'll be posting updates from every place we stop along this trip and our next stop is a place called Bahia de San Agustin which is also in Watul Watulco National Park and we stayed at an overlander beach camp here so it was a super cool experience so stay tuned bye